guys cry, blah, 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 blah. And I said, hey, leave me alone, man. They got five months from me. Uh, bro, we're counter surveilling the guy, you know what I mean? He's hiding here, I'm hiding here, I'm hiding. You know how much money that cost me? No, I'm hiding no money, man. Job! Uh, I'm gonna cry, man. Serious bro. All we know, all we know, all we know is we got the best man in the world. Man. No, bro. I'm a straight up guy, you know? Who go in Jake Town and Jada Fitch and them now, Vernon and them? Rob Ford speaking in a Jamaican accent or patois, whatever you want to call it. That's Rob Ford. You know what it's reminding me of? The scene from the movie uh, Airplane with the guy speaking the jive, the white guy speaking the jive. It's kind of like that. But the media is obsessed with this. A minute or so of Rob Ford insulting the police chief. We know there's no love lost between them, but it was the lead story on CBC's National tonight, last night. If you don't believe it, check it out. Today, Ford admitted he's drinking again after another video showing him rambling and using offensive language hit the Internet. This latest video heralds Rob Ford's return to the international spotlight as the Toronto mayor who has admitted smoking crack and is sometimes in a drunken stupor. Peter? All right, of course, CBC not alone. I saw CHCH, my old Hamilton station, watching it or leading with it. I thought they were Hamilton News. And, of course, the Globe and Mail on their front page today in Toronto went with the Ford saga. Unbelievable. Uh, John Mraz joins us now. He's a liberal insider, much like our friend Warren Kinsella joins us to talk about this. John, I get why liberals in Toronto don't like Rob Ford. You want somebody else in. You want your own guy in. But... I don't get what the problem is with this particular video beyond the fact that, you know, Ford's drunk again. First of all, do conservatives in Toronto like Rob Ford anymore? I'm not sure. I, I mean, I would agree with you on one thing, uh, or certainly the, uh, the imitation of a patois uh, brogue. Uh, I find the least objectionable thing uh, around this. Yeah, people are out there calling it racist and all kinds of things. Fine, let's get rid of shamrock shakes and fake Scottish accents. I had, a, I had lunch with a couple of my Jamaican friends today. They were offended at how badly he did it. They also <laughs> suggested they also suggested there's an app available to Mr. Ford that could teach him how to speak proper patois. Maybe he might want to learn phrases like, yeah, I'm drunk again. Oh, oh yeah, that's right, you caught me lying. Or most importantly, sorry, Doug, I, uh, I put you out there again. Uh, he did burn his brother, I'll admit that. But the mayor has a few drinks. We know he's, his personal life is a mess. Uh, sure. But th this is... Is this really the type of story that should be leading the national news on CBC? We've, we've got the Sochi Olympics coming up. We've got the Prime Minister's trip to Israel. Uh, Bank of Canada was releasing its interest rate today. All kinds of stories could lead. Let's talk about Toronto's mayor on the state broadcaster for their big national story. As sick as we should all be of the Rob Ford story, what I think is getting missed in all this discussion about political correct accents, etc., is... Here we have the mayor, clearly drunk and perhaps more, in public, verbally, uh, well, slandering his chief of police and the, the police investigation and thereby the process that keeps this city together. And I think that is a story, uh, and it's unfortunately been a story, but it's going, go, right, gone on but, for far too long. You know, let me, let me play devil's advocate on sure. this. And, I, you know, I'm on the record as someone that thinks Rob Ford needs to get some help. The man needs prayers. He doesn't need ridicule. He needs help and prayers. But... Do you think that Chief Bill Blair has honestly, when he thought he was not being taped, not used similar language about the mayor? I have no idea what Bill Blair does in his private time, but I do know. Because that... people aren't taping Bill Blair in his private time and posting it to the Internet. Uh, I but would... I, I would bet you that there has been salty language used by the police chief to talk about the mayor. Well, I'm not going to speculate, but I would hardly call going to a diner up in Rexdale, uh, clearly under the influence of something, even if it's just masses of adrenaline, and ranting on in a public space about the police chief of this town, a private time or a private place. That's the public. We all know there are cameras everywhere. Every one of us uh, live, with, live in those rather Orwellian conditions now, and politicians are going to have to face that reality. There's no such uh, thing as... Absolutely, they're going to have to face it, uh, and, and I think many of them have realized that this is what's going on, uh, but there is a media obsession with Rob Ford. I get why the late-night comics want to use him in the U.S. He was uh, a great punchline. O over Christmas and uh, the holidays in the U.S., all they'd have to do is say Rob Ford, and they would get a laugh. The audience knew what they were talking about, but 
I, I think there's an obsession in this country, in the Toronto-centric media, because they just don't like him and they want him gone. Uh, I don't think that's fair to say. I think if I had said to you 10 years ago, would you consider re-electing a guy who's admitted to smoking crack, hangs out with organized criminals, most of whom are now in jail uh, and are going to jail for a very long time under serious charges, who's been alleged uh, to be involved in domestics at his house, uh, you would have been shocked, appalled, and you would have told me that I was a crazy liberal making up stories uh, and <laughs> hypotheticals that were impossible. In fact, if you'd written a novel, nobody would have bought it and it would have been remaindered because you would have said it was an impossible conceit. All right, well, you might be right on that, but it's going to be an interesting uh, race in Toronto. Um, I, I think all of you need some help in Toronto. That's why I don't <laughs> live there. John, talk to you again. Look forward. Yeah.